All right, now let's take all those uh, middle lines, all those, uh, the horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines, and now let's do a little seed stitch in the middle. Now, if this was bigger, I would probably use um, one of those half circles, and this is, I've used this one before to do the seed stitch, and I'll show you the little wall hanging that I did with that. I'm going to use my manual mode because um, my regulated modes kind of get out of hand real quick on this and they get jerky so I'm just going to use the manual mode and I'm just going to come up about a quarter of an inch and then back in. up just a little bit. those threads. We'll do it right now. There we go. jerky start. I've stitched in everything several times so I'm not going to worry about securing my threads. Just pull on out of there and there is a little center flower medallion. That's really good. All right now let's look at some other templates and rulers. All right, so I have my wreath done. There we go. And this center is done. I'm ready to add something to the outside of it. And I'm going to do something very simple using another set of, I would call these uh, more of a ruler. A template, I refer to something that has no additional lines on it to provide me any additional movement. So the half, the half circles do not have lines where I can continue moving them out to create perhaps quarter or half inch sections on them. Um, and to repeat the designs, these do. If you followed me at all, you'll know that I love these rulers and they are, uh, I call them the Quilted Pineapple Rulers by Linda Herka. I love these rulers and I've learned I've used them for several years now. I'm not going to go into the depths of these rulers because Linda does that and she has a program of her own. I'm showing you how I as a quilter use them. So you can purchase these rulers. There's seven. You can purchase them individually. She also has straight rulers. I just don't buy any more straight rulers. I have a couple and then I use my line tamer rulers. I'll be honest on that. However, what are wonderful about these rulers are the arcs that you can get. And I love romanticism. I can get beautiful arcs with um, the quilted pineapple rulers. This is the BFF. And um, it's an extra one, and basically it's um, promoted, let me make sure you can see that, as something that you can use around applique. As a sit-down quilter, I really don't use rulers around applique that much, but that is an option. Probably my favorite two are the ones that really have a big curve, 
and um, they're numbered. This is the 8 and the 10. I believe that's the diameter, but I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, however, for this whole cloth, I used the biggest one, which was the 20. And after several different drawings and tries, I came up with this ruler, and you'll see how we um, how we can use it more of a little bit of a ruler, not just as a template because we can move it. So I marked that I want my mark my the beginning of this design to start one inch below the binding. So I marked that to begin with, and if I use my lines, my horizontal vertical and diagonal lines, they sh this should be about the same all the way around. So let's go stitch this out. All right, so uh, first of all, when I use rulers and templates, that's one of the times when I do use my machingers. I've gone to the grippets pretty much, but I do use the machingers. So I marked that one inch mark. I put my ruler in, brought up my threads. Now, I'm going to find the diagonal, and it's way over here, but I'm going to find the diagonal mark. There is a rule, a, a white line in the middle of this ruler slash template, whatever you want to call it. I'm not that big about it. And I'm going to put that mark on the diagonal line. So I'm going to put it on the diagonal line, and then I'm going to butt the rest up against my ruler foot. I'm going to make sure everything is um, exactly on target. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and hold this ruler down. Now I do have that um, grippy stuff on the bottom, but I'm just going to make sure that I don't let it rub too much. And then I'm going to go over to 90 degrees away. All right, let's go. I'm going to put on a regulated stitch. Just looks good. All right, I'm going to go very easy. Up until I actually touch on, touch on this horizontal line. I want to touch right on it. I'm on it. Okay. Now I'm going to take my number 20 quilted pineapple and I'm going to put this middle line on the diagonal again. And I'm going to butt the other side up against where the ruler is right now. So I'm going to take my time and I'm going to make sure that everything lines up exactly. Very easy. Here I go again. just slightly come right to that vertical line okay it's about an inch away from where I want my binding at really looks good look at that too but I go for it beautiful Woo! Okay, I'm going to just, um, I'm going to stitch over the previous stitches. You can, uh, you can stitch over those stitches. You can um, stitch over the, everything we just did, whatever you want. Um, for this purpose in the video, I'm just going to stitch over a few uh, stitches. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do, so I'll wait and see. All right, let's end that, and then let's echo it. So to echo it and make sure I'm on target, 
I'm going to put my ruler foot right in between where I started. And I want the sides of it to just touch each side. That will probably be perfect. Then I'll take what I had, line it up on the diagonal lines again. Sometimes it's hard to find these after a while. Line it right up on the diagonals and it should just butt those. And so I'm going to create a quarter inch on this. And I'm gonna go ahead and go on again. And I'm just echoing on the inside. Now I go until I meet the middle or my foot is right in the center. Here we go. I'll rotate it and do the same thing. And the ruler is right on the edge of this first set of stitches that I made. Make sure that they're on the diagonal lines and we're ready to go. Check it if you need to. And I'm going to make sure I finish where I started. There we go. Cover my stitches. All right. Let me take it out and I'll show you what we did so that you can see the entirety of how beautiful um, these uh, rulers can make a design, whether it's on a quilt or on a whole cloth. So I'm gonna take uh, and go to a full photo shot. All right, here we are to this point with our finished circle wreath, our design in the middle, and then our beautiful angles with the quilted pineapple rulers. Next post, we'll see what else we can do. I have a different template for you.